Welcome to a small terrible channel. Today we'll have quarter two module two in sign seven self learning module. So first thing, click on Kotobi reader. So that would be the reader of the Kpop file that I am uh, going to give you. Click here, and then the file that I have. I am going to give you if no please wait repeat it if you cannot see it please wait uh, that's the time that you're going to wait all right so let's just wait okay so nandito na tayo sa ating self-learning module our interactive ebook. So, yan ang cover ng ating book. So, punta tayo sa module 2. So, in this module, so this is the most essential learning competency. You will learn to focus specimen using the compound microscope. So, we have here the targets, our, our objectives. Identify correct way of focusing specimen being observed under a microscope. Second, Solve the magnification power of the specimen observed under a microscope. And, number three, show proper way of handling a microscope. Then, we have our unlocking of difficulties. Magnification, resolution, resolving power. Alright, so let's just proceed to our next page. So, in proceeding our next page, let's just click next then we have here our pre-assessment so this is to check the background knowledge of our students where they are um, where their uh, prior knowledge yes so let's answer that as true maybe this okay And just click submit answers and turn okay so the correct answers are high highlighted then clear answers then next so we have here the first activity so try so just click on the picture and here you're going to um, fit this uh, things here this is a jigsaw puzzle All right. hmm. <laughs> this is a very um, engaging part if I am the student I really want to answer like this I want to manipulate objects like this I mean yeah Somehow it's a sort of exercise before the um, real battle. So where should we put this? Oh. This is a very fun field activity. And if you can fit all these pieces here, it would mention congratulations. Alright, so I delete lang natin. Para ang susunod na gumamit nito ay return to the original positions ang mga puzzle. Alright, so next activity natin, so the explore part. Again, just click on the picture. So here, the students will um, click on the successive two boxes if they find that these two boxes are pair, like the function and the part of the microscope. So, curious objective lenses and rotates. So, I, let me click on this. And maybe this, uh, it will highlight to the same color if they are 
um, really a pair. So this is basically pair matching. So use for precise focusing after initial focusing. Maybe this is fine adjustment. All right. All light. All right. Buffer. Alright, and then this one. And congratulations! Just clear again. Then proceed to the next activity. Alright, hindi na pala activity. So this is the discussion proper. So sinasabi na dito kung ano ba ang magnification. Paano ba i-compute yung magnification. So may formula tayo. Magnification of ocular or the eyepiece times magnification of the objective. And you will have the total magnification. So may example tayo dito. Kung ang ocular lens or ang eyepiece ay may factor of or image factor... Of 10 so that's basically 10 times so and the objective lens magnifies the image by a factor of 50 basically 50 times so the total magnification of the image is 500 times so paano ba ginawa yan? so that's 10 times times 50 times equals 500 times so take note there's the x symbol um, may beside the number because if you answer only the number, you'll get it wrong. Because it's a magnification. There should be times. If you don't want that X symbol there, you may write the word times. Then we have here the how to magnify or focus the image. So there are five, uh, five steps, five procedures here. Then... Just proceed to the next page, and in here you'll have the application. So again, just click on the picture, and you'll have this um, computation of the total magnification. So that what a total magnification has been um, discussed in the previous uh, chapter, right? Keep this in mind. So, meron tayong calculator dito. So ibaba lang natin. Then, para matulungan tayo mag-answer sa total magnification. Okay? So, just click again. Again, let me hide this. Okay? Para maibaba ang calculator, i-click nyo lang itong symbol dito na calculator. Click. Kung gusto niyo namang i-hide, i-click ulit. Alright? So, yan lang. As simple as that. So, 5 times 50 times. So, i-on muna natin ang ating calculator. Saan ba ang on na nito? Okay, nandito. Okay, so 5 times 50 equals, okay, so i-answer na natin dito, 250. Alright, so magtatanong kayo na saan ba yung times, okay? So, itong times dito is kopyahin lang natin. Kasi, what's the rule in multiply multiplying um, in multiplying linear equation, they should be of the same. I'm um, not necessarily um, no. The rule here in in, multi, in computing for the total magnification is you just copy the label. This is the times times. That means that it has something to do with magnification. Right, so, ang i-multiply lang ninyo is yung numbers, like 5 and 50, kopyahin lang yung times or ang x na nasa bis uh, beside the number. Right, so, next na tayo. So, we have 5 times 100. So, we have 500. Again, kopyahin lang ang x. Or ang times na symbol. Then next tayo, 10 times 50, we have 500. Again, kopyahin lang yung times or ang x na symbol. Okay, that denotes magnification. So, 20 times 20, we have 400 here. Right, so I type lang using keyboard. Then dito 20 
times 50 equals so 1,000 tayo dito. Again, kopyahin lang yung x na nasa um, tabi niya. Okay, tapos na tayo. So, i-hide lang natin ang calculator. Just click on the calculator symbol above. Then, show answers. Yes. Enter run. Bakit 5 over 6 siya? Ah, may ano na ako guys. 3, 4, 5 brush siya actually. Pero na include ko itong, uh, what's this? Na include ko itong row na ito sa, ano niya, sa total. Anyway, we got it perfectly. So, just delete, clear, para babalik siya sa dati. Alright, so, may task tayo dito. So, letter E uh, is to be seen under the microscope. So, yung letter E, kapag under the microscope siya, mag-iiba siya. So, may answer key naman tayo. So, nandun yung answer. And, nandito na tayo sa post-test. Okay? So, Again, may answer tayo dito. So, for the sake of illustration, bakit pa na ganito ang numbering? Anyway, I'll just edit this later. So, just submit answer. Oh, hindi pala ako naka-answer ng tama. Okay, so, kasi nga hindi ako nagbabasa. So, dapat talaga basahin niyo, uh, ng mga estudyante ito. Alright, so talagang babasahin para mag makapag-answer ng tama. Okay, submit lang ng answer at mag-appear na yung correct answers. Then, next page. So, dito ang glossary natin. And, ito. Kapag ang letter E ay tignan natin ang, uh, in the microscope, mag-appear siya as upside down. And then, dito tayo sa references. Alright, so, thank you so much for uh, watching this uh, module 2 of our quarter 2 soft learning module. So, sa mga gusto ng soft copy, mag-comment lang kayo sa baba ng inyong email ad. Um, ongoing pa rin tayo sa module 3, module 4 until module 7 of quarter 2 so just stay tuned don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell para manotify kayo sa mga bago nating uploads so thank you so much and mabuhay tayong lahat